should be sleeping in bed If you were peeping, you'd find that I'm weeping instead My loving dad <coughs> Hello, I'm a down artist I'm sorry that I was gone for like a few weeks. Apparently, I just came to this movie theater to watch this movie called Citizen Kane. But with my man's doubt, I want to see that movie in a different movie theater. A movie theater that is unlike any other movie theater. This movie theater has little or no people inside. But ironically, the movie theater is Spotless. I wonder why. And since the lights are on and nobody's here, I went to the lobby and stole half of the candy they have. Especially those popcorn. But sadly, there's no butter in that popcorn. I love butter. But why not to ruin it? <coughs> I'm so sorry, but I really like popcorn with butter, and I get I tend to get mad sometimes. I have to eat that. I have to like eat plain popcorn. So I was watching Citizen Kane when I had the grumblies, and then I had to go to the men's room to take a shit. And while I was taking a shit. I saw some weird figure waltzing through the men's room. At first, I see a shadow, but then I see no feet, nor any movement of any legs. And so the figure, supposedly a man, walks in one of those toilet doors and locks shut. And after I flush the shit down the toilet, I went out of the toilet door see who was that figure but I see nothing just nothing really I wipe my eyes and there's nothing I look down to see the feet but there's nothing how in fucking possible here's a question for all of you people who are watching this how does the toilet door just locks itself without any living being well Anyways, after I just noticed that no one was there, I have the sudden chills that I may not be alone. And then I'm starting like, get thrilled out. I ran out of the man's room and then accidentally smacked into the wall. Well, it's kind of like this. And for the result of that, I was gone! For like more than three weeks. Now I bet that Calvin and Guyon is making up more than 20 requests for a goddamn shout out. After I was being conscious, I just woke up. It was still night when I just woke up. The lights are still on. Then I suddenly realized that this is a movie theater for ghosts. That means I'm not wanted. That means I'm not a ghost. So. I just ran like hell out of that goddamn movie theater. Firing randomly, went inside my Ford, then drove here at 2 a.m. My scars has been rubbing all over my face. It's just nasty. So in conclusion, I want to run about ghost. Those slimy, fake. Invisible fucktards. Is there any reason why there are ghosts in the real world? Ghosts are very useless. And another one, pretty obvious. Ghosts do not talk to people. They cannot talk to people. Cause if they do, they're gonna be like real assholes. Invisible assholes. Just like Calvin the guy. Except that he's not very invisible. He's a fuckload of assholes. While the ghosts are being like useless or any shit like that, they can actually communicate with people other than just talking to them. How the fuck does that make sense? According to full research about ghosts, ghosts can actually manipulate objects. And they can do that by blowing onto them 
like leaves. Why are they doing that? Let me give you my request. Follow me! Let me give you one thing straight. Have you ever been to the interwebs and saw those pictures that shows ghosts? Well, I got news for you. It's photoshopped! All of them are photoshopped! And yes, I know what photoshop is. It was made back then in the 30s. And we do that by putting these two pictures together. But these pictures have to be transparent to, in order to do that. And there we go. We have Photoshop. Next time you are online and encounter these ghost pictures, please ask yourself this question. Why do you have Photoshop?